During the heat wave of July 2021, I decided to travel to Windermere and hike to Grasmere to spend four days exploring the area and while camping. The journey was, of course, so beautiful and incredible, but it was also quite challenging, especially when I summited Helm Crag in over 30 degree heat. Lush scenery surrounded by dominating peaks with hidden gems around every corner are a staple of the Lake District, so please enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. It feels incredible to be here in the Lake District, just outside of Windermere. I'm heading towards Grasmere in that direction, near those peaks. I got off the train about 40, 45 minutes ago and half an hour into my walk, I, I peaked Oristhead, how we pronounce it. That's about 200, 300 meters high. So happy about that already, seeing some sheep. Yeah, so I had four days off, so I figured why not come to one of my favorite places on earth, the Lake District, and just spend it there. Walk in with no real plan, just Windermere to Grasmere, and just wing it from there. with this really lovely couple for the first 45 minutes or so. They're called Jeff and Wanda and they were really really lovely and great to talk to and it's just awesome meeting incredible people when I do these things. I, you know it, happen, it seems to happen like every walk I do because there's always really cool characters and just new people you meet from from all over but uh, yeah, they're just doing a day hike today. They're from Preston, so not far at all from, from Bolton, <laughs> where I'm from. Um, and yeah, so they're just doing a day hike. They're getting the ferry back uh, to Windermere from Ambleside, whereas I'll be pushing on from Ambleside to Grasmere for the day. Uh, we split off because they wanted to go up a route that they've taken before. It's just like a detour, so. Might see them again, who knows? Don't 
<laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Maybe it's, maybe it's not too bad. I don't know. It's not too bad. I fucked in, no. Is it just you? It was just myself, but I didn't know where the dogs were. some road walking at the minute just come out of Ambleside had to pass through a little bit noisy here um, it was, Ambleside's beautiful really cute little town um, but it was so busy people everywhere so I'm glad to be out of there and heading towards Rydal and then right after Rydal is Grassmere but I'm gonna stop for a little break from Rydal maybe for about 20 minutes or so like the smell of bracken. I didn't hate it, I just thought it was too sickly, too sweet on a hot day. But oh my god, it smells incredible. It is sweet and somewhat like sickly-ish, but it's like a warm smell and it's already a hot day. So I can see why I didn't like it when I was younger, but oh, it just smells nostalgic and just different to other plants there it is that body of water in the distance that's Grassmere Grassmere Lake um, on maps it's just called Grassmere so there's a bit of confusion um, I don't know if it's like Lake Grassmere Grassmere Lake Grassmere Water it's just Grassmere, but the town's also called Grassmere.
can see, but there's deer. Deer down there. They were just running through the bracken. It was so fast I couldn't film it in time. See them down there. There's two, I think. Just started packing away my tent. It's still pretty early, but enough for the sun to be up. Um, I got woke up about four o'clock in the morning, and then again at about six o'clock because the cows that were in the neighbouring field over the river <laughs> had crossed over into this one and were sniffing my tent. So that was a really Initially quite scary, but when I realised what it was, really sweet, cute and funny way to wake up this morning. So that was pretty nice. But yeah, this was my uh, spot last night. Really, really lovely river, waterfall up there. And I've just taken everything out of my tent. Obviously, leave no trace. Everything will look as though, it'll all look as though I've never been here in the first place. No litter, as it should be. And... Yeah, I've got my pot of porridge over there. I'm going to have my porridge for breakfast. And yeah, and I'm going to head up to... Hmm, I'll see what's in that direction. Yeah, I'll see what's in that direction. And uh, I want to do some peaks today, I think. I want to do some some climbing. Oh, wow. It's beautiful here. Yeah, I'm going to do some climbing today. And then probably come back down... Uh, through Grassmere and camp again somewhere over over that side of it maybe in the valley got some porridge oats I put some uh, vegan lime chocolate in there and it tastes really good with the porridge to be honest put some nuts and berries and seeds in so it's a little uh, protein pot as well uh, yeah so I just eating my breakfast by this river I've all packed up, I'm gonna get water as well with my filter and uh, yeah, set off, set off in that direction. And it's like I was never there. Okay, so I've looked at my map and there's Helm Crag and Gibson not further on. And that's, they're the uh, peaks in that direction. So I'm gonna cross the river down here, walk around, follow the road, and then that's where you go, because there's no way to cross it over there. So. We'll loop back a tiny bit. Hello again. Don't mind me, guys.
I've set up my tent earlier than usual just because I know this is where I want to camp tonight and I'm pretty exhausted from um, Helm Crag today so I thought why not it's about nearly seven I usually do it about nine-ish if I can like while it's still light but just before it goes dark but there's absolutely no one around and um, it's well out of the way of any path um, I only camped over there, over where those cows are in that house, past that. That's where I camped last night, but you know, just sure, whatever. And I'm gonna go over to the river right now and just cool down because it's still really, really hot. Like, probably about 30 degrees. So I'm gonna go cool down and chill.
I don't know if they're going to come back. It's just a bunch of um, ducks or geese. I can't really tell in this light. They've been doing that for the past half hour. And then a whole other flock just flies over and they all fly away. Uh, it was pretty strange. I don't know what that was, but it sounded like they were fighting. It could have been a mating thing. It could have just been a social thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's funny. Ready to sleep. I'm watching the sky. You know, the really beautiful gradient. And the moon as well. I don't know if you can just see over there. It's really lovely and bright. When it gets darker, I'll be able to see some stars, like last night. That'd be really nice. By a river down there. You can just hear the trickling and distant animals and the odd car. <laughs> I'm just in a field right now, quite um, away from everyone but again the odd car reminds me that i'm not too far from civilization and uh yeah but luckily the river drowns it out most of the time was my camping spot last night. You can see it better in broad daylight. It's about 9am and I'm gonna head back into Grasmere village. This is that last night was my uh, last night so uh, I've got a bus to catch around probably one two-ish and then a, a train to catch from Windermere about I think it's between three and four after double check. So um, yeah, the plan is just to go to Grasmere Village, maybe go to another cafe, buy some gingerbread from, you know, the gingerbread shop because you have to when you're in Grasmere. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Another just chill day since it's like a half day today, my last day. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's lovely and thank God there's a nice breeze as well today <laughs> to cool me down a bit. Pieces, please. Elderflower and lemon fudge as well, please. And that's everything. Thank you. Six water. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah. 
to a secret recipe since 1854. 